David Wisner was born in Bridgewater, New Jersey on February 5, 1956. He graduated from Rhode Island School of Design with a degree for illustration. Honest Andrew by Gloria Scherzinski was the first book he illustrated. Since that first book, David has illustrated about 20 other books and written and illustrated eight. Three of those eight have received the Caldecott Award. Those are Tuesday, The Three Pigs, and Flotsam. Two others, Freefall and Sector 7, received the Caldecott Honor Medal. It is possible that David's creativity was inspired by colorful pictures on his bedroom walls when he was a child. Images from the World Book Encyclopedia were what sparked David's interest for great detail in his illustrations. Tuesday won the Caldecott Medal in 1992. This book is mostly just pictures. There are hardly any words at all. On a Tuesday night, bullfrogs take to the sky flying on their magic lily pads. They go all over the town and all over the city. They fly through kitchens and living rooms. They make friends with a dog, and they fly through laundry hanging out to dry. The next morning, all that is left of the frog's adventures are the lily pads they left behind in the streets. That night, pigs on a farm take to the air as well. The Three Pigs won the Caldecott Medal in 2002. This book begins like the traditional Three Pigs we all know and love. But then it takes a turn. When the big bad wolf huffs and puffs on the first pig's straw house, he blows so hard that the poor little pig flies right out of the story. He's now in Storyland, where he can wander around and visit other books. The first little pig convinces the other pigs to come with him, and they all go on an adventure through books. The cat from Hey Diddle Diddle follows them out of a story. The dragon who is about to be slain is rescued, leaving the prince who is going to slay the dragon baffled. At the end of the book, they all return to the original Three Pigs story, where they changed the words at the top of the page to read, and they all lived happily ever after. Hurricane was published in 1990. This story is about two brothers who experience a hurricane while they are at home with their parents. They are afraid of the wind blowing, and they can see leaves and debris flying outside the window. The boys go outside the next morning when the hurricane is over and find that the tree has fallen into their neighbor's backyard. The boys play on the tree. They pretend it's a pirate ship, and then they pretend it's a space shuttle. The boys play until the tree is chopped up by men with chainsaws. The brothers are so sad that the men took away the tree, but at the end of the story, their father tells them that another storm is about to come, and the boys imagine what they would do if a tree in their own backyard fell. Flotsam won the Caldecott Medal in 2007. Though this book has no words, the illustrations clearly show what happens in the story. A little boy is playing on a beach when a camera washes up on shore. The boy takes the film out of the camera and has it developed. When he looks at the pictures, he sees a mechanical fish swimming in a school with other fish, an octopus reading a book in an armchair, and another photo of aliens under the water taking pictures of the seahorses. Then he looks at the last photo. It is of a girl holding a picture of a boy who is holding a picture of another person. The boy gets out his microscope and looks at the photo more closely. He sees that there are about 12 different pictures inside of each other, and the first one is of a boy a long, long time ago. He decides to carry on the tradition and takes a picture of himself holding the last picture he found. Just as the camera gets the shot, a wave comes and carries the camera back to sea. The last page of this book shows a girl who is reaching for the camera as it washes up on shore again. I decided to do an extension of this book. If this book were to continue, the girl on the last page would pick up the camera and have the film developed too. She would see the pictures that the boy took and she would do the same thing. Then the camera would be swept back into the ocean for another person to find.